I'm whipping my hair back and forth. I'm whipping it. Y'all see it? Y'all, y'all don't see me? Okay. <laughs> Hey, Better Squad. It's your girl Shonda back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, hey, sis, hey, welcome back. I am dropping another video today, and today I am making my matte lipstick. If you came here from the now I call it famous lipstick base viral video where I, I show you guys how to make the base, then we are gonna take that same base now and make some matte lipstick. So I know this is this has been requested in the comments. People have been asking for it. It's here, sis. It's here. Today's the day. All right. <laughs> so we are making matte lipstick. We're doing two colors for my Agape Love collection. If you watch the previous video, you'll note that that collection is coming out January 18th, 2021. And this um, goes along with our lip glosses. So you can also have a choice between lip glosses or the lipsticks, and there will only be two colors. Like I told you guys um, in the previous video, I have condensed a lot. I will not be making like an excessive amount of products. While I am here, I always like to try and drop some gems for you guys um, before we get started with the DIY. And one of the gems I want to drop today is all about your social media, your Instagram. I know there's a lot of information out there, but I wanted to just give you something really condensed and simple to focus on. Two things mainly. Your Instagram bio needs to reflect all the important information regarding your business. So the fluff, the extra, you don't have the room nor the characters. You want to say why you're here, first of all. You want to say what you offer in your products, and then you want to directly give them the most important information, such as how many orders you may have shipped, um, do you ship worldwide, or in my case, for example, I drop collections. So you will note that my collection date is in my bio. So I'm going to insert my bio right here so you can see how I do it. And you can kind of see exactly how a bio should look for your business. The second thing for your bio is your link. If you are like me, a serial entrepreneur, and you have several brands, you may be tempted to use Linktree or some type of link that allows them to click a bunch of different links from your bio page because, of course, we only have that one link we can add for Instagram. The brand that you are selling products from, there should be no Linktree. The only link that needs to be there is the link directly to your website. Why do I say that? You want to make the sales funnel for your customer as easy and seamless as possible. Anytime someone has to click several times to get where they're going, half the time, they're just going to click off and now you've lost the sale. So for example, I have Women With Balance. Women With Balance is not a brand that really sells anything. It, it is an encouragement page. It is a community. So Linktree is there so that people can get to Better Bowl from it. However, on Better Bowl, all you will see is betterbowlcosmetics.com. There is no link tree because I want my customers to click the link and go straight to my business. I don't need them to click on my link for my podcast. I don't need them to click the, on the link for Women With Balance. I don't need them to click on all these different links or have all these different options when my ultimate goal is for them to go to my page and shop for Better Bowl. So, I hope this actually helps someone. Just a couple of hints for you to focus on and, you know, take a look at your bio. If you've audited your bio recently, drop down in the comments and let me know, like, what do you feel you need to change or what questions you may have about making an effective bio. Per usual, we're going to go ahead and pray and we'll get started with the DIY. So today, I want to pray for vision. Since we are approaching a new year, um... A lot of people have been given visions. A lot of people are waiting on the vision to come. So I want to pray for the visionary. I want to pray for those who are wanting 
uh, to know what their purpose is and still have not yet found that out. So I'm claiming and believing that 2021 is going to be a breakout year based out on how 2020 was for a lot of people. 2020 was really a foundation. 2020 was growth. 2020 was really God preparing you for elevation. So if you utilize 2020 to the best of your ability, if you utilize 2020 to grow closer to Christ, to get into your word, to really um, hone in on your business, you you can expect greatness in 2021. I'm, I'm telling you that for sure. You can expect it. I hear from the Holy Spirit. I know it's the truth. It's going to happen. So let me go ahead and pray for you about that. Heavenly Father, I just thank you right now, Father God, for vision. Thank you for making it plain to us. Thank you for the dreams that you have given to those at night that needed a vision from you, Father God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that is always with us, that guides us and directs us and tells us no when we need to go in a different direction. Father God, I pray that anybody that is struggling with their vision right now, that you provide clarity, Father God. Make it clear to them not only what they need to do, but who you are in their life, Father God. 2021 will not be a year of nothing. 2021 will not be a year that we sit back another year hoping and waiting and wishing for our vision to prosper. It will prosper, Father God, because we have done the work. The prayers of the righteous avail it much, and we thank you in advance for your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's get on into this DIY. So first we have here the famous lipstick base that you, a lot of you came from to find my YouTube channel. We're going to start with this to make the matte liquid lipstick. So this is the video you guys have been requesting. Now we're going to go ahead and get to blending, blending, blending. So I'll go ahead and speed this up for you. As you can see, it is a lot of blending. I'm leaving this here so you can really see that it takes a lot of blending. I sped this up. So that just goes to show you how much blending goes into making a lipstick. And even after all that, I'm going in with the hand blender to make sure that it is really mixed and smooth. You have to be very particular on this part with the white because it is very hard for white to blend and it will streak your lipstick when people are applying it. So you really need to try your hardest to blend it down the best that you possibly can. Scraping the sides, um, bearing into the bottom of the fold, all of that.
and you're going to blend again. So, speeding up again so you don't have to watch this process. But making that lipstick definitely takes some of this action. Now I'm going in with my Better ISO mix. It's an isodotacane with some other ingredients that help to make the matte lipstick matte. I will actually be selling this mix as a part of my wholesale that will be available. And yep, you guessed it, blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going in with some kale and clay. This is going to make it dry to a matte finish.
so let's try some on. I'm going in with some 24 karat gold mica. Now we're going in with some pink so we can get that rose gold that we're going for. Here we're adding our better ISO to help with the drying and the transferring of the lipstick. Now it's time to add us some gold mica and we will also be going in with some bronze. Um, that way we can get that kind of reflex on the lip stick like we want. This bronze comes from TKB. Um, I get most of my lip colorants from TKB when it comes to other products that you'll see me make such as my soaps. Uh, body washes, I use um, different ones just depending. Brambleberry, soap and things, a uh, lot of different options. And you already know what's next. Blends, blends, blend. Again, making lipstick is work. It is not like making lip gloss. <laughs> if you think mixing lip gloss is hard, you're really not ready for lipstick because lipstick requires a lot of blending um now if i make big portions when i do wholesale i use my stand mixer but when it comes to these small amounts that i'm making right now i i just feel like that's a waste to even mess up my stand mixer and i just go ahead and do the hand work um i can use my little hand mixer like you see that i've been doing for the smaller ones to make sure it's blended but you still have to get on the side of the bowl scrape off the color so that you don't get streaks and smears so that is why you see me mixing mixing so hard and even after i mix this sometimes there will still be a streak and i have to go mix again so 
if you want to make lipstick, be prepared to blend, blend, blend. If that's not what you're trying to do, you need to go ahead and wholesale. And sis, I got you. Just let me know. Even if I don't have a lipstick color that you see, it's more than likely that I can make it. So I definitely will be offering wholesale when the site opens back up January 18th for the Agape Love Collection. You guys make sure that you are signing up to the better list so you don't miss it. So you can get discounts, deals, all of that great stuff. And if you don't mind, go ahead and thumbs up right now on this video. Subscribe, join the Better Squad, and welcome to the family. Now I'm going in with my second round of pigments. This is to make sure that the color is truly pigmented. Once you add the Better ISO, it does change the texture and the color just a, a little bit. So you want to go back in with color after you use the Better ISO mix that I have. Now we're going in with the Kaolin Clay. Again, this makes your lipstick dry to a matte finish. Um, now, depending on colors you use, it can still kind of come out thin. Like this one I know will not be as thick because I used mica in it. And micas aren't really strong pigments, but I that was on purpose. I wanted a um, reflective, a glittery type of matte. So this one is coming out exactly as I would like it to. Pulling out the hand blender for that final blend to make sure that everything has been mixed extremely well together. Now we're going in for a little swatch test on the arm. I'll also show you it on my lips in here just in a second. Look how pretty that pink is. Like it is such a pretty rose gold. And of course, when you see it in person, you'll see the gold reflex. Um, of course, it's kind of hard to capture it on camera, but it is a very pretty pink. You'll note that I recorded my DIYs one day, so that is why you see a different look in the intro. <laughs> but anyways, this is such a beautiful pink. I mean, just imagine it with a brown liner on. Oh my gosh, like, it's everything. I love it. I even love it by itself. It's great, neutral for any skin tone.
See you in the next video. We're making emulsified lip scrubs. Bye.